Alright, welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be going over some basic zoom style of animations that we can use for our logos and our branding for our videos. And without further ado, here's an example of what we're going to be doing today. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is dragging and dropping the clips we'll be using into our media pool here. And I'm just going to drag our main clip onto the timeline here. And I'm going to snip away the first eight seconds just because I happen to have an address built into this. It was a former listing of mine. And then I'm going to drag and drop the logo we'll be using into the pool as well. And this is looking way too big, so I'm just going to shrink that down. Maybe about point. 35 or so, which I think looks pretty good for our purposes here. So the most basic way to add some motion is just to open up this dynamic zoom section here by double clicking on it and toggling on the slider. So by default, it's going to go to a linear zoom out. And if we wanted this to be a zoom in, all we had to do is click the swap button and now it's going to be a pretty linear zoom in. So with the zoom in, it's going to start at the size you want and end at its arbitrarily selected zoom. So what I like to do is just go to the end of the clip and click the left arrow key back. So we go one frame backwards to the actual ending of the animation itself and then just drag this down to the size that we actually want so then it's not too big and it's not clipping off screen and when we play this back again we just have this linear zoom right here now it does have a few other options we have an ease in which will start off slow and then ramp into a quick zoom it also has an ease out, which is the exact opposite, as well as an ease in and an ease out, which will start off slow, speed up in the middle, and then slow down at the end there. Now, these are fine for a lot of applications, but personally, I don't particularly like how they look. So I'm just going to shut this off and show you another way that we can create the same style of animation. To do this, all we have to do is start at the beginning of our clip and create a keyframe by clicking this diamond right here next to zoom. Now I'm going to go the, to the end of the clip, go back one keyframe by clicking the left arrow key and creating another keyframe right there. And now, while we're at the end, we can change this size to 0.35. And now we've created that same linear style of zoom, except the difference is we can control how big we want it. So if for some reason we wanted to go crazy and have a huge zoom, we have full control over that. If you wanted it to zoom in from nothing, we can start at the beginning, click zero, and you'll see it fade in from nothing. So I'm just going to go back to the first keyframe by clicking that arrow, changing it to 0.35. I'm going to go to the last keyframe, change that to 0.35 as well, and I'll show you how to do the ease in and ease out. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And so it looks like I am approximately in the middle doesn't really matter for this, but take your time with it. And I'm going to exaggerate it by making it 0.5. So now when we play this back, we have that zoom in and zoom out. But again, it's very linear looking. So what we can do to fix that is down here on the clip itself, there's this sort of parabolic looking thing. So if we click on this middle keyframe, we can change it from linear to a curve. And we can change the beginning one to this first curve and the last one to this end curve. 
So what that will do is take it from that linear motion to more of that natural looking curve. And if we wanted to just exaggerate that a little bit, maybe slow it down or speed it up, what we can do is click on the middle point and just drag it out a little bit more here. So what this will do is just slow down the middle bit while speeding up the ends. And there we have it. We've gone through some basics of the zoom functions as well as the dynamic zoom functions that's built right into DaVinci Resolve. So if you wanted to play around with the size of your logos, make it zoom in or zoom out as time goes on, just to add a little bit of motion as well as a little bit of visual appeal, you can definitely play around with that. And remember, if you did like this video, make sure to leave a comment down below, as well as any suggestions for upcoming videos that you'd like to see. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like these tutorials, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good night, everybody.